cross originated in Canada with the Native American tribes up there. They would play to warm themselves up for a war with another tribe. It's a very speedy sport that is very competitive. Maryland happens to be one of the biggest states to be playing lacrosse in. Speed is important, and even more important is your endurance. Back and forth, it's the same size as a football field, so you have to have a lot of endurance. Also important is agility, hard work, and determination. You have to have good footwork, agile and quick, and have really good control over the ball when you're cradling it. Our rules are nothing like the boys' rules. Guys have a lot more physical contact, but I think we use a lot more skill. So you have to check away from the body, you have to check the corners. It's a lot of practice you have to put into it. We can just run straight into a person or go one way and then switch your direction. It's all about having confidence in what you want to do and like catching the person off guard. We wear the goggles to protect our eyes. I'm one of the players on the team that get called for defense a lot because I'm all up in their face and aggressive. The strategy is to get in front of your player, like go to the ball. The balls we use are heavy, they're hard. If somebody shoots it, you could fracture a bone. It could be pretty serious, so a bruise lasts for about two weeks. There are shoulder pads, which are a lot thinner than football shoulder pads. You got some elbow pads, gloves, they protect your hands. And you got your stick, which is made of a shaft and a head with mesh. The pressure of being on a sports team and doing well in academics is really high. And a lot of times I've found that when I do play sports, my grades go up because I really want to play and I'm pressured to do well and to balance my time. To get ninth graders involved, I think it's so key. A lot of our kids are in honors and AP courses and they tutor the younger kids. If they don't rely on each other, there won't be goals scored and there won't be victories. You know, that team bonding sort of continues off the field too and I think that they do bring that to the classroom. When you play a sport, you try to keep your grades on level so you could be eligible, but I don't just try to be eligible, I try to be I try to be perfect. The more you try, the better you can get. Co-ed Volleyball presents new challenges to our student athletes as they work with each other and develop team chemistry. Similar to a classroom assignment, the challenges create opportunities for growth. We have to be able to block boys who can usually jump higher than girls, so it forces us to jump higher. And the net's also six inches taller for co-ed season than normally in girls, so we have to jump six inches higher to get the ball over the net, which is a huge difference. I think it's good. It's definitely a different dynamic than most sports teams. I'm friends with all the girls now, and it's fun. You know, you definitely learn a lot from them because you know a different style of you know playing sports and stuff. It's definitely, it's definitely a good experience. I definitely like the work ethic between the two. Um, you get to see them collab because they still are adolescents at the end of the day. Um, so them working, problem solving, figuring things out together is really nice on the court. It's a little bit different because most of the boys have never played before, so it's a lot of us teaching the boys and us helping the boys out. Everyone should try it. Anyone can do it. It's great. As far as the girls go, they usually try to think three plays ahead, we'll say. And the men are usually, I just got to get the ball in the court, and I got to make it hard, and I got to make it fast. And my serve has to be strong and powerful. I need aces. Um, so with the two, it's definitely different angles. But as far as competitive-wise, they're both, both really trying to go at it, trying to win. Quince Orchard played Damascus in this year's co-ed volleyball championship game. And the Damascus Hornets, with strong play from seniors Ryan Love and Suzanne Brady, were victorious in four games to become the county champions. MCPS is the only public school system in the entire state of Maryland offering gymnastics as a varsity sport. Eight MCPS high schools have teams, and they compete in five regular season meets. There's a championship meet that determines the top team and top all-around gymnasts in the county. There is also a varsity B championship, which offers an opportunity for girls who are beginners in gymnastics to compete against one another. 
there's a lot of different levels on each team and you have girls who've been doing gymnastics their whole life and then you have girls who just want to come out and try it for the first time. So we accommodate all levels and it really is a confidence builder once they get out there and they get judged and they see their teammates cheering them on and um, fans from the school there, they really feel good about themselves. Gymnastics allows girls who are on cheer or palm squads or swimming and diving teams to extend their athleticism year-round. They get more exercise and build their physical and leadership skills. Gymnastics keeps me flexible. It also helps me out just with my friends and my, my friends are all here. And um, I get to recruit a lot of people for cheerleading also. I do swim and dive in the winter and then gymnastics is spring. I feel like you use like a lot of the same body movements. With gymnastics, it's you and the equipment, and that's it. It requires every single muscle in your body. You have to condition, then you have to stretch, you have to get flexible and muscular at the same time. It's crazy. At the gymnastics championship, Harley Mann of Walter Johnson High School won the gold medal for all-around gymnasts. Your Montgomery County new team champions, Walter Johnson. And Carly led the Wildcats to an undefeated season and the 2016 Montgomery County Team Championship. It's been really fun. I've never had this much fun because these girls, we're like, we're tight as sisters. We're, it's amazing. I'm gonna miss them so much next year. It's crazy. We get so close. Corollary Sports provides student-athletes with disabilities, or those who don't play any other interscholastic varsity sport, the opportunity to feel the excitement of athletic competition and the pride representing their school around the county. Corollary Sports is an amazing program. You can have every student come together and actually play a sport together. You don't have that in any other sport. So I love the fact that it is very diverse. The students come out here, they have a great time. The coaches have a great time. It's helped my high school experience because back in like middle school, I didn't have mostly sports to play. I didn't really have like a lot of competitiveness. I wasn't really a fast runner. You know, I wasn't exercising enough either. So with sports like this, uh, I actually can show my competitive part. I can be a leader. There's two or three elite athletes in each class, and then there's like you know 10 or 12 kids that love sports and want to play them and there's not really a spot for them. So this has covered those athletes along with these special ed athletes, and it, it's just very rewarding, and I, it's just so good for the kids. The benefit of interscholastic sports is that it adds more movement and exercise to a student's day. And the practices and games enable students to develop social, physical, and mental skills that they can use in their lives outside of high school. It's a good opportunity because you get to meet new people, and you get to create a bond with your um, coach and your playmate. Once you're comfortable with your environment, you're able to be who you are and not be shy. One, two, three, church In the fall season, team handball is the corollary sport. I think we're the only school district in the nation that has team handball as a varsity sport. Combining kind of basketball skills, dribbling, passing, along with shooting the way you throw the ball into a goal that is about the size of a soccer goal. You have a uh, two nets and you just try to score on the other goalie. And it's actually really high scoring. I mean, you get 30 goals a game. This past November, the Blazers of Montgomery Blair High School won the Team Handball Championship. In the winter sports season, bocce takes center stage. I first started coaching bocce five years ago. There was maybe 15, 16 of the county high schools that had a bocce team. Now I believe we're up to 23 this year. So it's definitely grown, and I think the interest in bocce among spectators has grown as parents become more familiar with bocce and the rules and even the strategy because there is a tremendous amount of strategy that goes into this. Bocce doesn't require physical strength, it requires precision and a lot of strategy. It's very intense. Usually it's quiet when the person is throwing, and then there's cheering. You try to get closest to the polina. Sometimes if the gym floor is like has a hill underneath it, it can curve the ball and really position it to where maybe you get closer to the polina, which is where we're trying to aim for every game. I like about hanging out 
being with my friends, stuff, and being a good sport and not like goofing off and try to stay focused in the game and try to win. In February, the bocce ball championship match featured Northwood against Wooten. And the winner? Your Wooten Patriot. <laughs> In the spring season, the corollary sport is Allied Softball. I think Allied Softball is a great program, especially um, because it works hand in hand with um, disabled students and students who just want to learn the game and love the sport. Everybody gets a chance, no matter what, whether you can hit a, a pitch or not, they have an opportunity to put it on the tee and get an opportunity to hit it. So they love that aspect of it. The MCPS Corollary Sports create learning experiences for students with and without disabilities. The practices and games enrich the lives of high school students. You can see it in the reactions of the 2017 Allied Softball Champions, the Sherwood High School Warriors. This is a true varsity sport. It's not a club sport. It's not a JV sport. It's a true varsity co-ed sport. And I think that really helps, you know, it helps everyone take it seriously. We have referees, we have scoreboards, you know, some of the games are announced and it just, it makes it great for the kids. It is really valued as a varsity sport. Our vision, we promote academic excellence, athletic achievement, positive sportsmanship, and upstanding citizenship by providing the greatest education-based interscholastic athletics program. Our mission, every student athlete will attain the mental, moral, physical, and social emotional skills to excel in the classroom, community, and the realm of competition. Our purpose, to provide an innovative, education-based interscholastic athletics program that maximizes diverse participation through a commitment to equity and access. Our core values, respect and sportsmanship, academic excellence, integrity and character, spirited and safe competition, equity and access. <laughs>